In this video, I will show you how to apply a safe, non-toxic seal over wood. And you can do this after you stain the wood as well. So this is the product. I'm going to get into this uh, in great detail. Here we go. Step number one. Uh, take your wood countertop, tabletop, island top and sand it off. You want to sand it with the grain. I'll show you. I'm using a sanding block with medium grit sandpaper. Once you've completed this, move on to the next step. It's looking good now. This is a hardwood table that's used outside on a patio. Barbecue, dining, snacking. Anyway, uh, it's very, very old. And the next step, I'm going to stain it. Stains are toxic. No big deal. When the stain dries, then we're going to seal it. The next step, brush the table off. Next step, switching from the brush to a clean, dry cotton towel. Oh, it's a good idea for your table or your surface to be level. So if it's not, just add a piece of wood or something to get that surface about level. Okay, here we go. Now, reading the can of any product you buy, like this one, I really like the quality of this flood stain for decks and for wood. Toxic, do not swallow, do not get on your skin, all these warnings. So this is going to be my stain, then I'm going to let it dry at least 24 hours, then I'm going to seal it with my food safe finish. Here we go. When you work with stain, always a good idea to stir it. So you want to use a uh, wooden paddle. You don't want air bubbles in stain. I want to get it off my stick. That's what I'm doing here. Okay. And then you dip your brush in and you give nice strokes like this, even strokes with the wood grain. Ah, yes. Nice even strokes produces a nice even finish. Let it dry. Here's my stained hardwood table 24 hours later. You can see the, uh, the stains penetrated nicely. It looks much more even, the color. I kind of like the uh, distress look. There's multiple layers on here over the years. Anyway, now it's time for us to seal it with the food safe product right here. This comes in pints and quarts at your sponsor and it's safe for food contact. When it's dry it's non-toxic and uh, I have uh, I, I've used it on all kinds of projects wood countertops, butcher blocks, islands, tables, bars, uh, cutting boards, especially cutting boards that you're going to be serving just charcuterie boards or uh, just cheese olives, tomatoes, things like that, where you're not actually going to cut on them. You could even do one side of the cutting board. All right, I'm going to show you how to apply this finish. Basically, you use a, uh, a large brush or, and or a small brush, and you dip it, you dip it in this can. It's thick stuff. It's kind of like a honey consistency. I'm using a small brush. This is a nylon bristle, by the way. I'm going to do the uh, sides of this first. I like to do the sides to seal it from any moisture getting in there. Uh, you could do the bottom. The bottom is optional. When you do the top, 
You want to go with nice even strokes with the wood grain. Right there, that's a perfect finish. By the way, this is self-leveling. This will level out in the next hour or so and it will dry in about 24 hours. Multiple coats are recommended. It's completely up to you. This product is sandable and uh, it's made in the USA. I like everything about it. That's the look I'm looking for right there. Real nice. I'll be back. Okay, I'm all done with this table. The finish is looking good. It's just got to dry now. I love the fact that it's food safe. I love the fact that it's made in the USA. I also love the fact that I've got a lot of experience using it and it works. Really, really nice finish. Non-toxic. Put your fruits and vegetables right on there. Serve cheese, fruit, anything on there. Uh, this is great, like I said, for a bar, a dining room table, an island, kitchen countertops, anything wood, food safe, non-toxic surface made in the USA. Check out your sponsor. They got it in stock. It comes in pints or quarts. It's worth every bit of what it costs. Oh, yeah. It's going to be good. Thanks for watching and have a great day. And here is the hardwood table, finished, rustic, distressed looking. And this is uh, about 24 hours later after the second coat. Yeah, I like it. This product works on counters, bars, islands, tables, pantries, even outdoor furniture. However, the weather, extreme weather, can be tough on any finish. Food safe, non-toxic, that is the most important thing. Oh, yeah. Check out your sponsor. Subscribe right here. The bottom there. Oh, yeah. It's going to be good. Hello, Chef here. So as a professional chef, I get asked all the time, what is a safe cutting board? So that's what this video is all about right here. This is the one you've seen on TV. Professional chefs use them, and there's a good reason why. Uh, it's 100% made in the USA sustainable hardwoods uh, sourced very carefully uh, ultra premium grade rock maple walnut cherry lots of choices this one here is 20 by 15 by two and a quarter you can also go 18 by 12 or you can go 24 by 18 there's a few other sizes as well but this board is ideal this is the one the chefs are using and I'll tell you some more Here's a thicker one. This is end grain rock maple. The two treatments recommended are designed for working professional chef's kitchens. There's a reason. Mystery oil is a food safe, ultra pure grade mineral oil. I really like it. Yeah, it's good stuff. And uh, that's where I get it right there. Uh huh. Uh, it's used in combination normally with the board cream. Board cream is a natural moisturizer which seals out the elements and it's primarily beeswax. I get it right there. Uh, beeswax, let's see. Unbleached beeswax and food grade mineral oil. So these are the two products that we use and we apply them monthly, generously and uh, you're going to learn more about that in just a moment. So the mystery oil 
is applied in a circular motion. So you use an applicator or a plastic bag, work it in in a circular motion, do this monthly, and then let it dry overnight as preferred, and you can repeat. After it dries, you warm this in a bowl of water and apply just a few small dabs, and wow, it's going to be good. That is a safe cutting board. Every knife should be paired with a butcher block throughout the kitchen. Uh -huh. Proper maintenance should be applied every month. finished loaves. I love butcher block. Yeah, this is end grain maple. You can see it's ready for some more oil. This is edge grain cherry. It's been oiled once and then it's been sealed at the factory. Uh, it's really, really nice. I like it. And uh, this one here, this is edge grain maple. So different looks and different uh, sizes, different thicknesses. Edge grain has certain applications, end grain has certain applications. They're all on sale at your sponsor right there. In stock and quick shipping, you're gonna love it. By the way, this is an authorized dealer with over 50 years of combined experience in butcher block. So I suggest you uh, shop with the experts Get the best the first time. That's my motto. Get the best the first time. Ready to apply mystery oil. Give it a shake. A little bit of uh, beeswax and uh, mineral oil. Some other good stuff in here. I like it. Uh, first application, just like this. Swirl motion. Yeah. Okay, once you got the swirl motion down, plastic bag. Why? because it's recyclable and it's not flammable. Uh, I would not use uh, cloth. It'll absorb too much and it becomes flammable. Oh, look at that block. Really, really nice. You can see all the hard work has paid off just with the look and the color. Oh, yeah. If you need one of these blocks, contact your sponsor. If you need the butcher block treatment,
exceptional. Select Hard Rock Maple is the chef's choice. Choose from several sizes. With a juice groove, without a juice groove, reversible, charcuterie board, solid walnut, solid cherry, even walnut rustic grain, reversible, round, square, rectangle, free shipping, Oh, it's going to be good. Wow, the Jambus Cucina Elegante, handcrafted with the finest American hardwoods, food service grade stainless steel. The Elegante features inch and a half thick butcher block, available in several sizes and with several options. Call your sponsor and save money. Ask for a discount. Oh, yeah, it's going to be good. Boost blocks. Buy the best the first time. Save money.
oh so nice to cut on. Contact the sponsor. They're having a sale and I know there's free shipping as well. Professional cutting boards, chopping blocks, butcher blocks, custom sizes, 